So today, I will attempt to give Stasis the love it deserves and tell you why you need to use this subclass because it's so good. So good. It's easy to forget because Beyond Light's a year and a half, you know, ago. And the Light subclass these first three seasons of the Witch Queen year has been revamped. It's uh, pretty good. And uh, yeah, it's easy to forget this subclass. But I was using it. And every time I use Stasis, I realized that it is the best at just doing everything. Now, the one thing I will say... Maybe when it comes to end games and certain roles, if you're a Titan, if you need to provide a bubble or you guys are rocking thunder crashes, um, yeah, this, this super won't be it, but it's still pretty good. If you want to control an area, I will tell you that stasis is arguably the best at controlling areas and being as high powered as you can, because there are some fun things you could do with elemental wells that really make you a powerhouse in different ways, depending on your choice of whether it's font of might or high energy fire. Now, with that being said, let's focus in on our build and our loadout to showcase exactly what I'm talking about. And just look how I made this big helmet work. Oh, my God. I love the look. Really do. But back on track. Let's first of all showcase our loadouts. And we see here we got Forensic Nightmare. Now, this is one of my favorite SMGs, if not my favorite SMG in the game. Swashbuckler, Enhanced Swashbuckler, and Perpetual Motion are great. It provides faster reload. Third Magrel, just to increase that reload in small bore for a barrel choice. And obviously, a, I guess you could say, where is the Masterwork? I have a intrinsic, I think, range. But yeah, it's um pretty good. Stasis has great synergy with Stasis, and I love this SMG. I think it's still better than Blood Feud. But yeah, that's my personal you know preference using dead messenger because of in case i'm running into match grade activities this is something i can use for that now quilliam's terminus is an lmg i am currently using because it's stasis stasis synergy firing line stats for all it's pretty good but again in more other cases if i want to do boss dps storm chaser or any other solid uh, linear fusion you know taipan or cataclysmic from val disciple are all great options in that regard now when it comes to our exotic we're using Horfrost z because this exotic has glacial fortification. When using the stasis subclass, your barricade becomes a wall of stasis crystals that slows nearby targets. When created, standing behind the barricade will grant you and your allies increased weapon reload speed, stability, and range. And if you guys also break this crystal, it has great synergy with a aspect we are using. And it's just, it's, oof, it's so good. It is so good. My favorite stasis exotic and probably my favorite Titan exotic in the game. Now, Enough with that being said, let's talk about the Stasis subclass and what aspects and fragments we are using on this class. Now, for our aspects, we are using Tectonic Harvest because this is important to the whole build itself. This is the most essential part to the build. The next aspect is pretty good, has good synergy with it. But again, this Tectonic Harvest is the most, most important part to making this all work. So shattering a Stasis Crystal creates a Stasis Shard. This, is, this shard grants melee energy when picked up by you or your allies. Now, again, We'll revisit that purpose later now next to that we have howl of the storm this also creates some crystals it's another way of changing your melee it's actually pretty good i've been using it a little bit and something i've grown accustomed to my buddy dennis get definitely got me on board with this now while sliding activate your charge melee ability to launch a wave of stasis energy forward that freezes targets and creates stasis crystals again great synergy with the idea of crystals and breaking those crystals for these tectonic shards or these shards from tectonic harvest now what do we do with those stasis shards? Well, we'll talk about that soon with mods, but we want to make sure that Whisper of the Conduit helps us get those stasis shards. So basically, stasis shards will track to your position. This grants also a plus 10 resilience and a plus 10 intellect if you guys are looking to min-maxing your stats for your overall stat build. Now, next to that, we have Whisper of Chains. While you are near frozen targets or friendly stasis crystals, you take reduced damage from targets. This also grants a plus 10 recovery. Another great fragment. Now, next to that, we are using Whisper of Shards. Shattering a stasis crystal temporarily boosts your grenade recharge rate. Shattering additional crystals increases the duration of this benefit. Again, this helps us with our grenades or melees. It's just really, really good. I absolutely love this fragment. And next to that, we have Whisper of Rhyme. Collecting a Stasis Shard grants a small amount of Overshield, which falls off after 10 seconds. Collecting additional shards adds to the Overshield and refreshes the timer. This is, you know, great synergy with the idea of being a crayon eating Titan that jumps into the fray and gets absolutely destroyed, but doesn't get destroyed at the same time. Now, let's talk about our mods. Now, it's pretty important to mention that my helmet is Arc. 
my gauntlets are stasis my chest is stasis my legs is arc and my mark is stasis so in order to make this build work you're going to need three stasis elemental i guess you could say armor pieces that has the st stasis energy to it the other ones i'm sure if you add more stasis you get a little bit more connection elemental charge is a, is a uh, universal mod and you see here basically become charged with light by picking up an elemental well if the elemental wells element uh, type matches your subclass you gain two stacks of charge with light and uh yeah this is pretty powerful for what we're going for now high energy fire is basically to use our charge with light stats and it basically gives us a 20 percent pve damage boost collectively now other damage buffs do not stack with this so just keep that in mind when you're using it some people like fauna might i don't because it's going to limit me to only stasis weapons i'm using in some cases storm chaser which is arc so that isn't the stasis subclass so there's that problem with final might for me but again high energy fire is a basic simple solution and it costs the same compared to higher fire font of might now for our hard frost e, since it's stasis we are going to be having a elemental shards mod this is pretty important because uh stasis shards will count as a stasis elemental well for you and while this doesn't apply to crucible trials or iron banner it's still pretty good for what we're going for is a solid pvp option and uh it's wild i absolutely love it now underneath that we have radiant light just for you know using our super around creates our teammates become a charger light and it grants plenty, uh, plus 20 strength it's a very good stat wise for that exotic or the, for that you know team element of it and below that we have well of respiration picking up stasis elemental wells grant you additional energy for your ability that has the lowest energy multiple copies of this mod increase this effect and again great synergy and we obviously have utility kickstart because why not but yeah as you can see guys this is a very very solid controlling the play space type of build and uh, if you guys ever got locked onto ad control and you guys aren't really worrying about doing massive damage to like let's say dropping a bubble or using thunder crash throw on some stasis guys it is really good it is amazing some people like some people in my fire team may hate your, hate your crystals because they're all over the place and they're blocking their shots but if you guys break them you do a lot of damage around you and it is just it's so good. It's so good. Now, to the end of this video, let's just talk about your thoughts. I, I want to comment down below what your thoughts on stasis collectively. Is this something you use? I know a lot of people are finally coming back to it because it's just been a while and they want to refresh in some of the builds. But yeah, it's it's something I absolutely adore. I absolutely love. And I honestly just can't just get enough of every time I come back to stasis. Like I said earlier, I get reminded that this is the best subclass in the game. And even though Strand looks pretty cool with grappling hook and all that stuff, it has to do a lot for me to prefer that over stasis and right now stasis is still high king for me but yeah comment down below your thoughts on this build and your thoughts on stasis itself where does it rank in your choice of subclasses if you guys are also just enjoying the content and enjoy this video itself definitely drop this video a like helps out this video a lot if you guys are also new here and want more content from me because you know i drop a lot of content definitely hit that subscribe button and the bell to be notified for when i drop more content but yeah that's all i gotta say on this one check out the stasis build if you're a titan it is fun it is crazy and it is powerful but yeah i'm gonna shut up you guys have a good one ciao energy here and i'm out